we're tying the mud shrimp and we're going to start with the tail. These are fibers off an American hen soft hackle chickaboo. They come from up in there nice and feathery. Down below has the nice hackle parts that will be coming later. This is a size one knot hook and for this one I've taken two and pinched them together so the curves are on the inside. Start your thread. Measure your tail. Now you've got a nice taper to the body. Take the time and cover it up with thread wraps. Keep it as smooth as possible. I like to let a little bit of the coloring come through. Gives it more of a mottled look. Come back down to right about where you trim off the tail stems. Take a piece of vinyl rib. I tie it in on the near side. Tying as you go up to where the tail is. Wrap your thread back down. Notice I'm leaving plenty of space for the eyes. Then take your vinyl rib and start wrapping down. If it slips out of place, use your nail and push it so they nice touching wraps. Hold your material up, two turns, secure it, and then bind it down, trim it. Make the foundation for where the eyes will sit. Position your eyes so that they don't roll off the top. Use some figure eight wraps to help hold them. A little dab of super glue. few more thread wraps over the top will help hold them in place plus cover up any glue so that you don't get your feathers tangled up in it. Position them to where you want them. Take your thread back and then take your American Hen Soft Tackle Chickaboo Feather and your Cocte Leon, same type of bird um, with the tailing. I take the two, stroke the fibers back at the tip. Set them on top of each other. A couple of things you can do different is Put the orange one first, and you'll get more of an orange color. In this case, I put the mottled colored one first. 
since there's already plenty of orange showing on the fly. Tie them both in together, near side, trim off the tips, secure it down, go around the eyes one more time, little thread in front, move toward the eye, and now for the tricky part. Stand the fibers up. There's one turn, two turn. On the third, come forward. Pull the fibers back out of the way. One turn, two turn, hold them up. Put your thread through, one to hold it, two to make sure it doesn't go. Take your scissors, reach in there nice and carefully, trim them off, wet your fingers, pull the fibers back, take your thread, and start to form a nice head. Any little fibers that get trapped, don't be afraid to trim them off. Always go back and look to make sure you get the fibers unstuck. If any of them got pinched down, take a dubbing needle and pick them out. Take your whip finish. Finish it. Thank you.